What's up everybody? Today I find myself working in a place called Fallbrook, California. It's a small little town on the edge of San Diego County. So where was I? Oh yeah. <clears throat> so there was this dude and his name was William Pittenger. He was one of the first um, uh, Medal of Honor recipients. Um, and he fought in the Civil War. He actually was in the first Battle of Manassas. And then after the battle, he re-enlisted for another three years. And he was from Ohio and he got himself mixed up in what is known as the Great Locomotive Chase. Um, or Andrew's Raid. And the train is still uh, around. You can go see it. It's called The General, and it's down in Georgia. I hope to do a video of that at some point. Um, but for right now, let's talk about uh, Mr. Pittenger, who's involved in this historical event. He survives because, you know, the Confederacy catches up to the train. Spoiler alert. And um, they hang half the people that are caught. And uh, he survives. And it's looking pretty uninviting. We've got barbed wire. And a locked gate. I am currently dog sitting my little friend Chloe, who is also a history buff. And here we are. Good news is, this gate happens to be open right here, so we're going to head on in. So, for a little graveyard, this is proving a little more difficult than I thought. I've been to a couple spots that I thought was his, but they are not. It. I think it's important to mention that Andrews Raid, named after James Andrews, was actually a civilian and a Union spy. And before his famous mission, he was spying on the Confederacy as a contraband salesman, trying to sell medicine and other scarce supplies while trying to gather intelligence for the Union. What's funny is that he was a native Virginian. He was born in Virginia and this mission, like all his other missions, didn't go as planned, and he was hung. They were supposed to destroy telegraph lines and railroad lines, but... Now, Mr. Pittenger, uh, he escaped the gallows, and um, he ended up making an escape in October in 1863 with a bunch of his other buddies there. And uh, he was rounded up pretty quick. Some of the other guys got away to friendly parts of Tennessee and into uh, Union lines. But he was captured. He spent five months in prison. And then uh, he was exchanged for Southern, or Southern soldiers. They didn't exchange and he was released. Well, pretty cool that we found this guy over here in little old Fallbrook and uh, you know after the war he 
became a minister. He lived out his days here. <laughs> 